Hello, spiritual prayer warriors. I want to talk to you today about the subject of angels, but a specific form, and I want to couch it within a celebration that CK and I and Brian have today. This is the 10th anniversary of our having moved to Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, what does that have to do with the angels? Well, I'm going to share it with you right now. You see, it was uh, a little over 10 years ago that CK and I were on sabbatical. And we left Oregon. We came down to Las Vegas. We were in our timeshare. We were going to travel around the United States and, and uh, see some sights. And the Lord kept us here in Las Vegas for six and a half weeks. He wouldn't let us leave. And miraculously, our timeshare allowed us to stay there because usually they have a limit. And during that time, the Lord appeared to us. He spoke to us in several different ways, but here's the biggie. In June of 2013, I was praying in the living room of that room, that condo. CK was in the bedroom. She was having a vision, a mighty one, and I had an encounter where during my prayer time, the angel of the Lord, I'm talking about Michael, the war angel, took me up into the spirit, raised me up over the continental United States, and showed to me a swirling mass of rainbow colors that were descending down over the United States. I knew that it was about revival. In fact, Michael even spoke to me a little bit about that. I knew that it was about God's covenant through the Lord Jesus Christ with his people that it had to do with authority, rule, and reign from heaven down, that it also was about the promises of God with a glory revival that was coming to the United States. All of that was perfectly clear. Uh, there were some demonic spirits that had set up strongholds to attempt to keep that from coming down. There were angels, like meteor fire angels, that were coming down and bombarding those strongholds and tearing them down, and then others would attempt to rebuild. And so I turned to Michael, and I said, hey, you guys are from God. By the way, this story is in my book on Third Heaven Authority. If you haven't already bought it, uh, I would encourage you to do so. Third Heaven Authority by Mike Thompson. But Michael responded, and he said, because of the mouths of men. He said, the hearts and the mouths of men empower those demonic spirits to rebuild those strongholds. And then he said this to me, catch it. He said, that's why we, the angels of God, the warrior angels, need faith-filled believers operating in authority to speak and empower us to bring about the purposes of God. There's a, an authority that we have, and the angels are with us responding to that, but they're also there with us to help us. Now, when I get to the end of the story, after all this has occurred, Michael turns to me and he says this. He says, the Lord has given you an assignment that you can accomplish from anywhere you choose. Now, that assignment is ministry, but it was to teach third heaven authority. Anywhere that you choose. So the grace of God and the way that he works with us in that is just astounding. But then he said this, but the Lord would rather you did it from here. Las Vegas. CK and I got together. We discussed it. We prayed. We said, yes, Lord. We went home. And over the next few months, got everything ready and moved our ministry, our headquarters, everything, our household to Las Vegas 10 years ago today. Now, the astounding thing is it was by an angel. Now, a lot of people think, man, you're crazy. What? An angel? How in the world could that have happened? You know, CK and I have been walking a supernatural lifestyle all of our adult lives, our marriage, our ministry. And it has been astounding. God has been so good to us. But an angel, who in the world 
would pick up stakes and move to a different state. Because an angel? Oh, that guy's off his rocker. No, not off my rocker. I am absolutely in tune with the Holy Spirit. And it has been the most tremendous thing that we have experienced. We are celebrating today. God has prospered us. He has increased our ministry. He has taken care of us in absolutely every way and come through. Not only because of the angel telling me to do that, but because he went before us. You know, there's a scripture in Genesis 24, 40. Listen to this. And this is when Abraham is looking for a wife for his son Isaac. And so he brings his servant in, and he tells the servant what the Lord had told him. The Lord told him, an angel will go before you in getting your son a wife. So he tells that to the servant. The servant goes to Isaac, and uh, he gets ready. Here's what he tells him. The servant tells Isaac, the Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with you and prosper your way. So the angels, many scriptures throughout the, New, the Old Testament particularly, talk about the angel going before and here even the angel going with. So on that wonderful day, a little over 10 years ago, that angel came to me. He laid it out. I believed it. You got to believe, if, you know, if the Lord appears to you. And then he went before us and he went with us. The angels, there were other angels involved. It was a supernatural experience. Why am I going through this? I wanted to share with you that angels are watching over you. They are the watchers that are protecting your life. They are there orchestrating and setting up things. You know, those angels came before us to Las Vegas. They set everything up in advance. They came with us to make sure that everything worked out right. And all the purposes of God were wrought in our lives. The same for you. I want to encourage you. Let the angels work in your life. They're working for you. They're helping you in your finances, your health, your family situations, your ministry, the anointings of God. So much of what we call the supernatural realm and activity and things that are happening for us are because of the angels that are involved. Yes, the Holy Spirit is there. Yes, the Lord is there. But they are using the angels to minister to us, and those angels are responding to our faith and authority in ministering through and for us. So depend upon the angels. I believe you're going to have an angelic encounter. Whether you actually see one or not, they're still there. But if you do see one, and I pray that you do, I've seen many angels, that you'll recognize their form and what it is that God is doing for you. They're there to help you. Praise God. Also, I'm going to share with you that uh, I have seen angels involved in spiritual warfare, not only in my life and for people, uh, that I have been praying for, but also for the United States. And in 2021, the Lord gave me a number of encounters about the angels that were in warfare for this nation over Washington, D.C., even in the White House. Uh, things are shifting. Things are changing because of the angels that are moving in our behalf. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each and every person that, Lord, that you would build the awareness on the inside of them, that they would recognize when angels are moving around them. Lord, that you would teach us to work with the angels, not against them, not in doubt and unbelief, not in using our words against our own selves and agreeing with the devil, the enemy, the world, and all these other situations with our belief and with our speaking and 
Oh, Lord God, put a watch over our mouths now. And let the angels of God work through us. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, go to our website. There you can even find the secure donation page and you can sow into the prophet's ministry and reap the prophet's reward. Angels are watching over you.